Bad TV. I already heard your first It's going off. We've got Sprungy. Give it up, Sprungy. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, this battle is for £100, £50 each. Big Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Hey. Listen. You ready? First of all, one of your friends have already told me you're going to try and come mad offensive and you're going to be going in hard. I don't take that shit serious when you've got a t-shirt on where you're getting a kiss off Joker star. <laughs> <laughs> Being honest, I struggled to find inspiration to write for this. Got to Monday night, I gripped an eight for the livest piff and got on some creative writing shit. Sprunger, your fat levels are going to lead to heart failure. You're not just fat, you're obese, dude. <laughs> this fat cunt flew all the way out to Australia to battle in a league called Got Beef because he thought that they meant they've got beef and they're giving out free food. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, bro. I asked Innuendo what he thinks of you. He said, to be honest, lad, I don't like him, he's a prick. <laughs> then I asked O'Shea what he thinks of you. He said you're a cokehead who snorts better lines than he can spit. That's actually in your end of True. <laughs> I've got too many. Yo! I've got too many lines recited in my mind that I can pick that will expose who he really is. A two faced, slimy, racist little prick. Ooh. Why do all your clothes look like you get them in a sale? <laughs> You've got the smell of a stray dog and the genetics of a whale. <laughs> a lack of food would mean he'd suffer from depression if he ever went to jail. And it's kind of disrespectful what his mum wrote on his birth certificate. Paul Sprung, a.k.a. Very, very, very epic fail. <laughs> you don't get respected off no one. Stop living in them two, Shadow. Have some self-respect. Stop living off their rep and get your own one. Is it just me or do you look like Balski if Balski had a shave and put a couple stone on? <laughs> Sprungy. Like 20 stone, 19 if you're lucky, maybe 18. Looking like every time he finishes a meal he licks the plate clean. <laughs> <laughs> time to do. No, 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 Alright, the last time he battled the scouser, this lad got destroyed. And O'Shea didn't even mention how your mum likes the black cock, Leroy. Why else would she give you that name? It's proper shit. I mean, maybe she's colorblind, or the complete opposite. What a bitch. See, your mum's a slag, she raised a dumb bloke. Took you on holiday and gave a new meaning to sunstroke. <laughs> that doesn't even mention how she likes a bum poke and the fact she goes down more than a sunk boat. What a fun hoe. She's got thunder flaps, I struck them with me rather lightning and then he rumbled back <laughs> after that after that hit pussy doubled in size the fucker was wide it looked like a tunnel inside so i used my tunnel vision and punched the chin in then i walked out of the house fucking grinning because she's got the dumbest children but i understand why people find you funny as fuck i enjoy a good laugh at a retard too you had me doubling up <laughs> So what you say, you're in trouble, you cunt, because there's no way in the world you're as funny as Sprung. So your mum's name's Jimmy and your dad's name's Rooney. <laughs> your mum's got a welly and your dad's got boobies. <laughs> That's funny. I wouldn't even claim it's a free. I mean, for Christ's sake, I wouldn't even say it was me. I'd probably admit someone goes through the bar to be used the next time you're joking hard. But I know that it'll get you a cheap laugh. I can see that. But in my eyes, it makes you a weak twat. Now beat that. And you mentioned Joker Star, but he's as old as Jamar. I mean, he poked the fucking ass and started smoking cigars. <laughs> Yo, let me break this down quick. Listen. After going on about fictional mum bars for 80 seconds, he spent his last 10 talking about how that's not what he's gonna do. What the fuck's that about? And who the fuck are you, you chubby cheek fucking goo? <laughs> <laughs> now it's normal for a battle rapper to get aggressive and start talking that shit. But I can't take you serious when you're talking that shit because you're a fraudulent bitch. Not aggressive. Wouldn't even put a salt on a portion of chips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fat so I would. You're fat and you would. And your mum likes my wood. She's a crackhead. I sold her the same rock that Amy Winehouse had and it ended up not looking good. <laughs> Boiled a kettle and poured the hot water in your face. Because your parents should have aborted you. From the second he was born, he was calling him a mistake. Paul was unfortunately molested and tortured when he was eight, but what's fucked up? He's your grandparents were the offenders, weren't they? 
Grandma played with you where your granddad recorded all of it on the tape. <laughs> now let's talk about how you're the only guy in Don't Flop that H Bomb won't fuck. <laughs> listen, nice listen, I had a <laughs> He shagged H bomb and I shagged his mum so he's winning. <laughs> listen, 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 listen now, listen. Show, show up what I'm spitting. Listen, listen. I had a bet with your sister last night that she couldn't fit my whole dick in a gob. Do you know why? She kept deep throating a banana trying to convince me that she couldn't. It was pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> then she put her tongue on the tip of my cock. And I know now that she's good to work with no hands like a digital clock. Oh. You're a fat mess with lad breast. <laughs> you stink. Where's your neck? <laughs> he's got a face so swollen it always looks like he's got an abscess. <laughs> yes, your, mother, your mother's a good hairdresser but she's clearly not giving you a trim. Why are you sweating on your forehead? Joker star, I'll beat you up you fat prick. <laughs> Suck your mother. <laughs> He mentioned H bomb. Well, in Sheffield, while there and fame were having a cheeky neck, he was in the corner having a wank like, let me be next. <laughs> Lad, I'll either hit him with combos or kill him with one blow for looking like a motherfucking Wimbledon Womble. <laughs> Look at your ugly face. At the first event when Awkward's got there, he was like, this is fucking great, because he finally wasn't the strangest looker in the place. Yeah, you're right. I'm right. <laughs> now here's a quick fact. You were delighted when Briggsy asked you to be in lab, but you got ripped fast by the kid Mac. How sick's that? And you ended up sounding a big twat. See, while Shoreham spat his bars and had the crowd going wild, you talked about his mum being in a hospital bed. That was showing style. But it's no funny coincidence oh, that you spat those mean bars and Shoreham put you in the ER yeah. longer than Noah while. Oh. And when it comes to albums, yours is weaker. I'm in it for the so love, you're you. in it as a fortune seeker. Pulling money up was a bad decision, no way this lad is winning. You should have kept it to keep a map off her for the feature. See, all my, quit. Lad, all my features do it for the love and the buzz it brings. Yours do it for the cash to buy drugs for the buzz they bring. Retard, you need a personal helper to stop those pathetic freeze. No wonder Innuendo will team with you. He works with people with special needs. Oh. <laughs> Oh babe, I fucked it babe. <laughs> now if you chat shit, you're gonna get a bollocking. Cause you ain't great when beating trips is your best accomplishment. You did a track with Hoffa to try and get a following. But the only L's math remembers are to Rex and Solomon. Ooh. Now if you disagree, fuck off. Today you'll see the best demolishing. And there's no way we'll see this less than confident, testy gobbling, sweaty womble win. Fucking hell you feel like, is this the best you're offering? <laughs> Obviously, when I fucked his mum, I had to wear Jorex. Stop talking about me sweating and look at your own forehead. <laughs> Fat, smelly prick. <laughs> you got banned from Don't Flop, so you've got to come to lab just to battle. I mean, you probably could battle abroad if anyone's got enough money to pay for your fat ass, because you'd cost two plane seats just to travel. <laughs> Remember in Sheffield? Yeah? You won't like this. Anyway, listen. <laughs> Yo, let's get to the flax watch. You're gonna see his face looking pissed off, like when he's pissed up and he's walking past the kebab shop with no money in his pocket. Check. You showed who you really are, and I've learned a lot about your character. Because when you were sober, you weren't saying a word to no one. You had no personality. When you got pissed, you was acting like a prick and wanted everyone to laugh at you. But you showed who you really was. Because Chronicle was inside the venue. And you was telling me that it was a pussy. Then I realised you're a blatant fag. Because when Chronicle come outside, like a little bitch, it was safe, safe, bro. You shaked his hand. <laughs> no, you shook his hand, you little pussy. Stop writing a pussy. <laughs> Listen, and then, as the day went on, we got to know more about Sprung. He was inside the venue, pissed up, stumbling on people and walking on the toes. And what was funniest of all, Everyone seen you was really at fat boy because you had cocaine residue falling from your nose. Yeah? And then when we went for a food after the battles, we went into the kebab shop. Me, you and Seasling. Me and Seasling were surprised that he went five hours without eating. <laughs> and this is where you showed your true colours, because when we got outside, you were whinging about your kebab. You probably don't remember this, but you were whinging about your kebab, about you didn't want cucumber. May we I walked actually? outside and then we seen your true colours. Because you called the guy that was working in there a smelly packet. When in reality, he was, listen, when in reality he was Lebanese. 
It's all good, because I walked in there to apologise for Sprungy's behaviour. The guy said, don't worry bro, I'm not a Paki, I'm Lebanese. Then he said, it's all good, because that fat prick hasn't seen his own dick since he was 17. <laughs> You said the Chronicle's got the skin complexion of a terrorist. That's racist. <laughs> you said that Nishi sounds like a packet. No, I didn't. That's racist. That <laughs> you put on shot your status that Lord Pesky is a packet. Yeah. You're a yeah. fucking racist. I did. No, I don't accept <laughs> racist behaviour. <laughs> at the end of the day, bro, you're a fat mess. Look at your hairstyle. You haven't had a trim for about six weeks. You're a big geek. I'll bust a nut in your chick's face just to ask what I'm a gist and you're more bitch made than an OG Nicky and Nicky Malaj collaboration mixtape. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Spoke for two rounds about me, me, me being retarded. Let's talk the fucking truth. If I'm retarded, what the fuck? Look at you! <laughs> <laughs> That's disability written all over it. I ain't disrespecting disability, kid. But your mother loves the thrill of my dick. I fucked her for five minutes and your dad was filming it. Horrible bastard. You've got red okay. eyes because you've been drinking. And I can see your jaw squirting. Check this, this is some truth, yeah? You need to stop sniffing lines and drinking pints. Because if you read in between the lines, watch him when he's judging the old Shea and Shotty battle. You'll see his eyes start bulging to a silly size, and every time he talks, the little sniffhead's head tilts to the side. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking baggage. <laughs> Time! Yeah. Facts against fiction. What, what the I'm fuck are you rapping, you homo? O'Shea and Shotty's battle was promo. I didn't judge you. I didn't yeah, judge you. You actually did, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your beard and how I was raping the bitch. I mean, my age is fucking half the size of the clothes that make that's made for the bitch. Size 48. <laughs> and I know that a black booty is made to be big, but fucking hell else, your beard is taking the piss. <laughs> so what I'm saying basically is, anything he chats is very irrelevant when his beard looks like a black nelly the elephant. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, I've seen his beard, it's straight. I went on a Facebook and I aired the boot. <laughs> I mean, come on, lad, how blind can you actually be? You're going out with a beard who's fucking fatter than me. girlfriend, <laughs> bro. Hey, and night he sleeps back to back with Chronicle because they share the same beard, fat, black, and horrible. Oh. No one's seen it, so it's probably true. <laughs> Alright, lad, that's enough Please. of the fat jokes for your beard. I'll lift the rug and sweep that bollocks beneath her and cut your girl some slack but she'll probably eat it. <laughs> now it's clear that I'm killing this fag for walking around with this fucking Carl Pilkington swag. I saw you in an idiot abroad. You were hilarious, mate. But some of the shit you said is like, are you serious, mate? I mean, I swear, Els, it's between you and Nico the Negro on who is battle rap's most ridiculous weirdo. You, you go on holiday and sit in your speedos watching all the kids because you're the biggest of pedos. You chill by the pool listening to CeeLo while the foreign fellas with your bed flicking a bean load. <laughs> I'll take you 50 quid the casino and send your ass to bar to get me a beer, bro. No. Now, for those who don't know, I'm a bad man. I've been locked away for many a night. Hey, I got drunk in Sheffield and tried to start plenty of fights. But when I did it to Els, he was very polite, like, Nah, Sprung, why'd you have to be like that? <laughs> well, today I'm battling the lab to help stop the rot. But pulling me up against him, I think you've lost the plot. And despite his battles in another league, he's a proper flop. So today he'll get booed out of the venue. Papa Doc. Oh. And against O'Shea, you said he doesn't get paid and only battles. Well, let me tell you, lad, that was a load of babble. I mean, sometimes I can't believe the shit that he says. You don't get paid either. It doesn't help you bring in the bread. So what you need to do is get this in your thick little head. You pay travel costs, you battle lots, but you get nothing in return, so you're deep in the red. Oh. But that's okay, lad. You still pay travel cuts. Oh, <laughs> you pay for me when I drive there. I don't drive in your car, so it doesn't matter. That's, that's okay, lad, because you're a Liverpool fan. But we don't want Mike support on Liverpool, man. I mean, I heard you were from the mean streets of Oldham. I mean, if I said that was a tough upbringing, you dear. Completely nothing. <laughs> but your mum used to send you out and be like, do us proud. You never had an ad as a child, but I'm a bet based on your looks you do have now. Oh. And just, just so you know, I didn't have a bad upbringing either. Even though I was raised on the streets of Liverpool, the violence and criminal activity I used to keep it minimal. But believe me when I say this last part's not for laughter, but if he somehow miraculously wins my 50 quid, quid I'll still leave with his because I'll rob him after. <laughs>
No, we're going to the judges back in five, yeah? Yeah. Anyone want to drink? Yo, it's in your end, though. Just watch the Sprungy vs. Hells. Classic battle. I thought it'd be fucking hilarious. Sprungy surprised me. He's done that in his last two battles. He's getting more consistent. Hells carrying on from the phone. He's had VCLs. I've been fucking recent. Uh, the first two battle rounds were like on a par. Um, like, I think they went at different angles. I think Hells is third when he got him on that race and stuff. That's the same route I would have went, and it was bang on the mark. But I think there was a few little slips but that was to do with both of them talking over each other's shit as well I think I think Sprungy State was just more consistent that's the only reason I give it to him but both of them close as fuck it was a big battle man so respect to both artists yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sick battle man. Sorry. Hey. Judge. Judge. Best both done as well. Man. Mm. I don't even know what's going on. Did you even say anything? Nah, I didn't. Just just <laughs> Yo, it's fame. Lab battles. Uh, just watch Els and Sprunger. I thought it was a very close battle. First two rounds, very even. I thought Els might have just as one of them, but I thought they both fell off a little bit in the third round. Um, but I thought Sprunger just came a bit more consistent through the third, um, like got a bit stronger. So I'd start just about give it to Sprunger. Uh, I would have liked to see it go over time, really, but I gave it two L's for, for like more punch lines, more like the punch lines I felt. And, uh, gave it two for it. But, I would have rather seen it go over time, but if we had to call it some two L's. Straight one. First off, yeah, it should have been overtime. The first round, I had that to Els, come out strong. Second round, it's probably picked up a little bit, so I get it on to him. And then the last round was hard. In the first year, Els came out hard, but consistency, I guess, is stronger. So, that's it. Should have been overtime, but still. Yo, League of Fans Battlers just saw a sick battle. Make a bit of noise for our battle. Yeah! Judges went four to one. Sprung yes. Can I just say something? Just before you like start calling me biased. I no, got called them biased. It was a sick good. battle and at the end of the day, Ellis came fucking dope man and it was all love. Yeah. We'll give him his 50 quid. Well done to Sprungy man, I'm not being rude, obviously everyone's listening, it's not like I'm talking to a camera on my own, but at the end of the day. Funny fiction nowadays in battles overpowers you get me the truth and that so it's one of them I don't mind. Ah, that stuff was not mine. Fucking shut up and have a sip. Round and double the money.